In May 2009, 17 female players were given central contracts by the Football Association. This marked the dawn of a new era in women's football in England. The game has come on leaps and bounds within a single year, and coupled with the formation of the new Women's Super League, the future can only look bright. The introduction of youth academies such as Fulham FC Girls is a prime example of the development and great development in the English female game. In light of ESPN's recent takeover of the rights to broadcast the up-and-coming English Women's Super League, could this provide a platform for the women's game in this country to push on to the next level? Kevin Finnerty, the manager of the under-16s at the Centre of Excellence, certainly welcomes the idea. The women's game is growing. I mean, the number of girls that are coming through now are far more than ever before. The quality is far better. One of the great things, I mean, if you look at the girls we've got at the Centre of Excellence, you know, talking about the, uh, the future of the game, one of the big things for these girls here is that these girls have got a great opportunity. If the Super League takes off, and hopefully it does, then the future players will be coming from centres like this one. However, England's failure to compete with the likes of Germany and USA on the international stage has highlighted the gulf between the very top nations in women's football. Kim Smith, former QPR goalkeeper, has noted the development of the English game over the last few years. Since I've been working, I'd say um, there's just an increase in players participating, just generally from grassroots up to elite. I'd say the standard of coaching has significantly increased and it's become much more professional within academies. Um, the coaches have got to be higher qualified and more experienced, much more competitive. It's just everything's bigger and better in America. At the moment it's seen in England as it's not doable. Nothing at the moment for players to play professionally over here and actually get a decent wage for it. Although obviously the Super League coming in, that is an opportunity. As Smith highlighted, despite the development of the young, talented female footballers, the worry is that the high-profile American League will continue to attract our top players. Alongside the financial benefits is the regular exposure that both players and coaches will gain. Should the new Super League prosper, it could become the catalyst that raises the profile of women's game in England, whilst also bridging the gap between the likes of the US. But hopefully, the Super League can have a similar impact both nationally and internationally as the Premier League has had on the men's game. Sylvia Nine's German troops have triumphed again here in Shanghai, and they become the first team in history to retain the Women's World Cup. If England were to ever emulate the success of their German counterparts, then the introduction of the Super League will certainly have played a pivotal role.